Hello! This video is all about how to use PowerShell and it's going to be a beginner's introduction to PowerShell and we'll go a little bit deeper than just a beginner. So hope you enjoy the next few minutes. Let's start. Okay, PowerShell is shall we say an updated version of the old command prompt from the DOS days where it was a black screen and you type commands in okay this is like a command prompt really really super energized what we're gonna do over here is start with the basics okay let's just close these things down a bit and we'll start with actually how to start PowerShell. One, go over here, type PowerShell. Now, you will see over here that there are two versions of PowerShell. One is the ISC, which is the one that has the nice graphical window. And then the normal PowerShell, which is a blue screen like the old command prompt okay window style then we also have the 86 version of both the command prompt style and also the graphical interface and these you'd be using for 86 version commands only so let's start by running them okay let's start off with the desktop app this one we want to run it as administrator. Just click on that and that should open up this window. Okay, I'll just clear the screen. When you get over here, the very first thing you might want to do is change the size of this. So you go over there, go to properties, and then you can change the size of the font. Okay, we've made it at 16, so it's a little bit bigger for you to view. You can also change the font type okay which type you like okay for example times career etc layout now this over here the height and the width you can change you can change the screen buffer size where is the window positioned so depending on how your preferences are you can also change the font colors etc okay now when we're over here the very first thing to realize is that it's a super version of the command prompt. So let's start by the very basics, okay? The very first thing you'd want to do is to use the help system. So you would want to update the help system and then for that we would try to see uh, how do I update the help system? I don't know. Well, I could go to Google, but let's try and use something like get command. And then we put the wildcard star and then type help and another star that basically ensures that anything in front of help is also included, anything at the end of help. There we go. All right, we've got get help, we've got update help. So we know if we need to get help about a certain command, we could probably use this. And if we want to update the help documentation, which is constantly being updated, and when you get it, Windows straight out of the box, it doesn't really have a detailed version of help. So let's try and see help okay that's a good start and then update dash help what does update help do we're trying to find out what that command does okay and in the description update help downloads the newest help files okay so brilliant great how do we actually use it we use it by just Scrolling down after reading that, and then you'll see over here, 
If you want to see examples of how it's used, you just copy that bit. And I'll just scroll down so we're back. And then paste it in there. Run it. And then, as you can see, we get a lot of information. We can bring this down quite simply. But basically, update help for all modules. Simple as that. All we need to do is just type in update help at our command prompt, at our PowerShell prompt. So, let's just type that. Update-help. Okay, now this is quite common, okay? This is a out-of-the-box kind of like clean Windows 10 and you will find that some modules may come up in red, okay? Basically, what it's saying is there is no help file for that. And sometimes this can block the update for the entire version of help. So we saw that you can get an error message. Don't worry about it, okay? There is another version of update help that basically continues on if it finds errors. So we'll just go for that, enter that, which is update help dash error action silently continue. As you saw, it went through nice and straightforward, updated everything and no errors. So we've updated our help. We've seen how to use the help a little bit. Now let's get a little bit deeper. Okay, let's go to the ISE version. Okay, so we type in PowerShell and it's the ISE. We would run that one as administrator. Have this nice little graphical environment, which also has a list of all the commands that we can use. So that's helpful. Also, when you're typing in, for example, get and then dash, it gives you a nice suggestion box over here. So that's really good as well. So get help as we used before. Brilliant. It found that first and it gives you the different types you can use for that. Click new. And then as you can see, then we get this top white bit where we can actually type in commands in there. Okay, for this one, we're gonna be quite useful. Okay, first we're gonna try and find a command that we can use to copy files and folders. Okay, so let's use get help and then copy. Yeah, we're trying to use words that might make sense, verbs, nouns, that kind of thing. I have found copy item and I want to find out how to use it. Okay, so we're just going to type in help, copy item, and we need to press the run button to make that run. And as you can see, what this says over here, it's got all the information. So it copies an item from one location to another, and then it would need where you're sending it to, the destination. It would need the information like the file, folder, drive, etc. So we have set up on our C drive a simple folder called PS test. Okay, and inside that it has another directory, it has a file, and inside that another file. So we just want to copy this PS test to somewhere else. So I'm a little bit confused looking at this. I haven't quite got the idea of how to use the copy item. There's an even better way. Show command. Yep. And then copy item. Run it. And you can see it's given us a nice little window over here. So, what am I trying to copy? Okay, I'm trying to copy from my C drive, 
which will be the location of this. So I'm going to copy C. Well, actually, I'll go into that and then we'll have it. So that's the full location. So I go back here. So that's what I'm trying to copy. The destination, ugh, I'll just paste the same thing in, but I'll give it a new name. Okay. And then, ah, there's some other command parts that we can use. A parameter, recurse, okay, which basically goes through it. Let's run this now and see what happens. Ooh, we have that. We have the blank file. We have another text document. Everything has been copied. May want to modify the font sizes, etc. over here in this one. It's tools and options. And then you go through the font size, font type, different colors, etc., etc. You can change. Okay, so what I want to do over here is just show you how simple it is to actually create pop up windows that can actually get information from a user, and the sky's the limit from there onwards. So I'm just going to paste in two lines. Okay. So add type, um, adding in the assembly name, Microsoft Visual Basic. We don't really need to know too much about this, but basically I'm importing in this Visual Basic assembly so that I can actually use this input box. So, for example, I want to get a username and I want to store it in a variable. We can store things. Let's run it. Here we go we have a little pop-up box. Now let's say my username is entered. Now, if I want to, I can go over here and just by typing in dollar user, there we go, we found it and pressing enter, it actually tells me what the value of that is. Which brings us to another thing that we can do. How do we find out what version of PowerShell we're using? It's dollar PS version table. Press enter. And there it tells us exactly what PowerShell version we're using. So, this is a very simple introduction to the two versions of PowerShell and a very brief introduction to the help, how to find commands, how to use them, how to even get the parameters and all the other information as a nice little pop-up box that can be used. So hopefully this is a nice starting point. If this video helps, please click like and subscribe.